Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, kompleto na yung topics natin, feel free to visit our playlist. Okay, let's get it started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 7 learners. Sa video na ito ay igagayad ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 3. Find the measure and identify the kind of angle. So, meron tayong given dito na protractor. Tapos, lalagay natin kung ilan ba yung measurement. Okay? Dito sa number 1, ano yung measurement ng angle FAP? So, FAP, kapag dito kayo sa outer scale, titingin yung nandito sa taas, ba ito yung outer scale at ito yung inner scale. From this point, papunta dito sa line na ito, ilan yan? As you can see, yung katapat nung line na to ay 70. Ibig sabihin, yung angle FAP is equal to 70 degrees. At kapag less than 90 degrees, ba it is an acute angle. Dito naman sa number 2, angle DAC, saan ba yon DAC. From this line or ray, papunta dito. Paano natin yan i-compute? Pwede nyo namang bilangin from 90, papunta dito sa line AC, or pwede nyo namang isubtract. Saan ba nakatapat yung line na to? Nandito siya sa 135. Pwede nyo namang isubtract eh. 135 tapos yung katapat ng segment DA or ray DA is equal to 90. So, sa number 2, 135 degrees minus 90 degrees, ilan yon? 45 degrees. Tama. So, kapag less than 90 degrees, it is an acute angle. Kung bibilangin nyo naman from 90, oh, by 10 tayo ha, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, plus 5. Kaya 45 din kapag bibilangin nyo. Next, number 3, we have angle NAM. So, nasaan ba yung angle NAM? Ito yung NAM. From this ray, papunta siya dito. Ilang degrees yan. So, mag start ka dito sa 115. So, 115 papunta siya sa 160. So, kung ganyan yung given, number 3, angle NAM is equal to 160 degrees Minus 115 degrees. So, ilan yon? That is equal to 45 degrees. So, measurement of angle NAM is equal to 45 degrees. Ibig sabihin, yung number 3 is an acute angle. Kasi less than 90 degrees yung measurement niya. Next, number 4. Ano naman yung angle NAP? So, from this segment naman, papunta naman siya dito. Kasi ito yung angle NAP. Ito. Okay. As you can see, meron tayong outer scale at inner scale. Kapag counterclockwise, ang gagamitin ninyong scale is yung inner scale. Yung nasa loob, yung kulay blue dito. At ano yung katapat ng line na ito? Kung mag start tayo dito kasi, we have 0, 20... 40, tapos 60. Then, yung kalahati ng 70 at 60 is 65. So, yung measurement ng... And then, yung line na ito is 110. So, 110 degrees, i-minus natin yung 65 dito. Ilan naman yan? 110 minus 65 is equal to 45 degrees din. Meaning to say, it is an acute angle also. 
And then lastly, we have angle EAN. Nasaan yung EAN? EAN. So, mula dito naman sa line na ito, papunta dito. So, pwede natin gamitin yung outer scale. Ano yung katapat ng line na ito? That is 115 degrees. And then, isubtract natin yung katapat ng line segment na to. That is 40 degrees. So, 115 minus 40 degrees, it is equal to 75 degrees. Meaning, it is also acute angle. Okay na? Nasundan nyo na? Okay, so let's proceed naman sa letter B. Below is a recipe of a cake. Find the equivalent amount for three cakes. So, for one cake, uh, disclaimer lang mga anak, pinalitan ko yung ibang value dito, kaya wag nyo gagayahin lahat, okay? Para subukan ninyong isolve. Sa cake flour, meron tayong 14,000 milligrams. So, i-convert natin into grams. Yung milk naman, meron tayong 2 cups. Convert natin sa ml. Brown sugar, 1 pint, ilang cups. Butter, 5 milligrams, ilang grams. Water ito, 0.007 liters, ilang ml yan. And then, chocolate chips, we have 100 milligrams, ilang grams. Okay, unay muna natin yung number 1. So, yung 14,000 milligrams, i-convert natin siya sa ilang grams yan. Ang conversion factor natin dito, yung isang grams is equal to 1,000 milligrams. Meaning to say, kapag isosolve natin yan, 14,000 milligrams, i-multiply natin sa, kung ano yung unit na nandito, yun din yung nandun sa denominator. So, 1,000 milligrams yung nasa denominator. So, 1 gram ito. And then, makakancel yan. So, 14,000 times 1 is equal to 14,000 divided by 1,000. Okay. So, 14,000 divided by 1,000, that would be equal to, tama, 14. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, sa 14,000 milligrams, meron tayong 14 grams. Uh, pin pinalitan ko itong 4 cakes na lang ha, 4 cakes na lang to. So, multiply natin yung 14 sa 14 grams sa 4. So, 14 times 4, ilan yun? That would be equal to 56. So, sa apat na cake, merong 56 na grams. Okay? Next, dito naman sa milk. So, 2 cups, ilang ml naman yan? So, let's convert 2 cups in how many ml? Ano ba yung conversion factor natin dito? Yung isang cup, that would be equal to 280 ml. Meaning to say, ang gagawin natin dito, 2 cups, i-multiply natin sa cup 1 cup dito sa baba, then 280 ml dito sa taas. So, makakancel yan. 2 times 280, so ilan yan? 2 times 280 that would be equal to 560 ml. So, pag meron tayong 560 ml, i-multiply natin sa 4. So, 560 times 4 is equal to 2,240 ml. So, sa, ap sa apat na cake, 2,240 ml ang magagamit. Okay? Then, sa brown sugar naman, so, 1 pint is how many cups? Dito naman, ang conversion factor, yung isang pint, is equal to 2 cups. So, hindi na na tayo magkakompute dito. Kasi, automatically, yung isang pint is equal to 2 cups. Pero, 4 cakes tayo. So, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Meaning, meron tayong 8 cups in 4 cakes. Okay? Next, dito naman sa butter. So, 5 milligrams is how many grams in 4 cakes? Parang dito lang din sa cake flour. So, kapag meron tayong 5 milligrams, ilang grams yan? In 1 gram, there is 1,000 milligram. Meaning, 5 milligram, multiply natin sa 1 gram over 1,000 milligram. So, makakancel yan. 
Then, 5 times 1 is equal to 5 over, uh, may grams dyan, over 1,000. Kapag nagdi-divide tayo ulit, ano yung technique natin? Mag-move tayo ng tatlong units kasi tatlo to or 3 moves to the left. So, 1, 2, 3. So, dagdagan natin ng dalawang zero. In 5 milligrams, there is 0 0.005 grams. And then, 0 0.005 grams, multiply natin sa apat na cake, that would be equal to 0 0.02. So, 0 0.02 grams yung ating butter. Okay? Next, butter to ha, wala yung L. Meron tayong 0 0.007 liters, how many ml? So, 0 0.007 liters is how many ml? Ano yung conversion factor natin dito? In 1 liter, that is equal to 1,000 ml. Meaning to say, 0 0.007 liters multiplied by 1 liter is to 1,000 ml. So, makakancel yan and then 0 0.007 times 1,000 kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng thousands or may mga zero, just move to the right naman. So, itong 0 0.007 move to the right ng tatlong beses. 1, 2, 3, that would be equal to 7 ml. And then, 7 ml times 4 is equal to 28 ml. Okay? Nasundan ninyo? Malapit na nga tayong matapos. Dito na tayo sa chocolate chips. 100 milligrams is how many grams? So, 100 milligrams is how many grams? Ano yung conversion factor natin dito? In 1 gram, there is 1,000 milligram. Then, multiply natin. 100 milligram times 1,000 yung nasa denominator. 1,000 milligram. And yung nasa numerator is 1 gram. Makakancel ito, makakancel. 100 times 1 equals 100 divided by 1,000. Pag nagdi-divide tayo, magmove tayo to the left. Tatlo yung zero niya, kaya tatlo to the left. So, 1, 2, 3, that would be equal to 0 0.1. So, 0 0.1 times 4 is equal to 0 0.4 Okay na? So, 0 0.4 grams yung measure for 4 cakes. Now, let's move on to this question. If the cost of all the ingredients for 4 cakes is 360 pesos, how much the ingredients per cake cost? So, ang gagawin nyo lang naman dito, i-divide nyo lang yung 360 pesos sa apat na cakes. Oh, diba? Iba yung sa inyo, ha? So, 360 divided by 4, that would be equal to, ilan? 90 pesos. So, 90 pesos each. Ngayon, dito sa number 2, if a cake was sold for 220 pesos, how much is the profit for the 4 cakes? So, ang gagawin nyo naman dito, kung 200, ito yung gasto mo, eh, diba? Ito yung gasto mo per cake. Ngayon, Kung ang benta mo ay 220 pesos, ibig sabihin, isusubtract mo yung puhunan mo na 90 pesos. Na, okay, so 220 minus 90, ilan yon 130 pesos. So, malaki yung kikitain mo. Kapag 130 pesos sa isang cake lang yan, ibig sabihin, ilan sa 4 cakes? Multiply mo yung 130 sa 4. So, 130 times 4 is equal to 520 pesos. Yan yung kikitain mo sa apat na cake. O, ba? Nag-enjoy ka na nga gumawa ng cake. Meron ka pang kikitain na 520 pesos sa paggawa ng cake. Alright. So, tapos na nga natin ang weeks 1 to 2 ninyo. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung weeks 3, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. At mga anak, tulungan ninyo ako para ma-up ang video na ito para 
Ika kayo naman ang palaging mauna na gagawan ko ng video. Kaya tulungan ninyo ako ha. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!